cars are parking free on some of the most valuable land on earth. Parking is at the heart of so many transportation issues. The right price for curb parking is the lowest price you can charge and still have one or two vacant spaces on every block. San Francisco with many thousands of parking spaces both off street and on street is testing the, the hypothesis that if you properly manage the spaces you reduce the total amount of cruising, you reduce traffic, you improve quality of life. SF Park is a demonstration of a new approach to managing parking. The idea is to make it so that your experience as a driver is that there's almost always a parking space available on every block. That's great for drivers and should make driving more predictable, more convenient, but it's good for people even who don't drive. SF Park provides safer and clearer streets for everyone. Here's how it works. Newly installed parking sensors detect when a parking space is available. Drivers will be able to check parking availability and rates online, by text message, and by smartphone before heading to their destination. The parking managers now, with great precision, can tell where a vehicle is parked, how long it's parked. They can tell whether that, the driver of that vehicle is paying for it. They can get a much better sense of where the rate for parking should be. If you have a scarce resource, parking spaces, and you have a lot of demand for that resource, the best way to manage that is to price it properly. It's a simple economic principle. If there's a block now that is completely full, but just two blocks away that has a few spaces open, we're going to increase prices just a little bit on the block that's full and lower them on the block that has open spaces. All we need is just one or two people to park on that block with the open spaces to achieve the availability target we're looking for. Right now at our garages and lots, it's more expensive than it is on street, so people have every financial incentive to circle around looking for parking, which is exactly what we don't want to happen. So we'll be lowering prices at garages and lots to make those relatively more attractive. The, the whole goal is to get people off the streets and matched up with the parking space as quickly as possible. Studies show in some cities like New York City and parts of San Francisco, you can have 15 to 40 percent of all of the local traffic is people looking for a spot, cruising for parking which is incredibly inefficient. This is the first time that this approach to parking management has been done on such a large scale in such a carefully monitored environment. There's a tremendous emphasis on data collection and evaluation to really evaluate just how well SF Park delivers the benefits we expect for drivers, for the environment, for transit, and so on. If you get the parking right, then you improve the entire neighborhood. Well, when people look back 50 years from now, they'll see that one of the major benefits of getting the price of parking right was to reduce the carbon emissions from all of this cruising that's going on all over the world.